Dude, Andrew, I am pumped. I got these dope new Oakleys for like 12 bucks. You've got to check out this site. Hmm, sounds a little suspicious. Are you sure those aren't Folkleys? What does that mean? Let's talk about it. Thanks for joining us. Really great to see you again. My name is Tyler. I'm an optician here at SportRx with my Oakley specialist, Andrew. We're going to talk about Oakleys, fake Oakleys. That's what that means if you didn't get that already. Before we get into this, uh, I, I just want you to take a look at that subscribe button and consider it seriously because if this kind of info and content is interesting to you, valuable to you, we have lots of other good content like this. And uh, if you subscribe, it's gonna go directly to you, especially if you hit that doorbell or bell or whatever it is, ring it. I don't know how this works, but it'll then get right to you as soon as it goes up. And uh, we have good blogs, lots of info rich blogs. We have an Instagram, we're everywhere. Just check us out everywhere. All right, Andrew, we got some fake Oakleys. We do, we oh. do. So we have real Oakleys back here. We have fake ones up front for three different models. We're gonna explain the differences to you. We want you to be able to identify, well, obviously, if you're getting Oakleys for like 15 bucks, they're probably not real. That should be pretty e easy to, to determine just right off the bat. Uh, but there are other indicators that are pretty blatantly obvious. I don't wanna lie to you. There are some elements that I'm pretty impressed with that they, you know, they got pretty close. There was, you know, I can see the average person being deceived. Uh, if you don't have a really good working knowledge of what to expect from a good quality frame, they might seem okay to you, uh, but there are definitely some easy ways for you to identify what is real and what is not. One of the first and most obvious things to me is the packaging. It's true. I mean, you look at the Holbrook packaging, this is the real one here, has a sticker on it with all the frame information there. The other one has there's, there's nothing on here. There's no sticker, nothing. Yep. You have no idea what's in this box. That's right. So they have a lot of the same kind of Oakley decals and logos and stuff, but you can notice little details. I mean, Oakley is a company that has a really painstaking attention to detail, and you're not gonna find weird, like kind of fuzzy stuff uh, on it unless you can tell it's obviously intentional. Sometimes you get a distressed frame or whatever, but this is obviously kind of a knockoff. They, they found a similar style and they just reprinted it or whatever. Uh, one thing that I noticed on uh, this other one as well is every Oakley box that's, that's this standard size has this little tab, it's like a little safety tab. It seems like a small insignificant little piece, but it I see it on every single Oakley box that, that I get that's new anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's a little added piece to make it so that the tab doesn't open up easily. This guy doesn't have Fake that. This one does not. It's just one single tab there. This one does, but again, like we said, this tag that I always see an Oakley tag that goes around a corner. So you see that on the uh, on the Holbrook, you see it on the frog skins, you see it on the turbine, the big blatant label with all of the frame details, all of the lens details, you got skews and, and everything on there. So that's pretty blatantly obvious just before we've even gotten into the glasses. Mm -hmm. This one. No box, Didn't just, came, box. just came in a little case. What, what's the deal with that? Okay, so I'm gonna jump into, why don't you open up the real Holbrook? I will open up the fake Holbrook. If I can, Jeez, Oh, it just smells good. Everyone smells good. How does, how does yours smell? <laughs> I don't wanna smell it, dude, right. are you kidding me? Okay, so now let's talk about package details. What the heck is this? That seems. It looks like a fake certificate of authenticity, if That's I had weird. to guess. Okay. What's that, a warranty card? This is fun. Go to oakley.com slash register to secure your two-year optic warranty. And uh, they have some kind of fuzzy uh, little fill-in things here, trying to Strange. make that pretty obvious. So that's, so this, that's real. So this is the certificate of authenticity. And this was in the real box. Tyler, you have something Kind of, kind of similar like they're, there, they're but going for the you big, know, long over. Yours is a little bit, a little bit longer. Yeah, and look at that, that Oakley. This says one year warranty. This says two year warranty, optic warranty, and this mm. Oakley. Oh, that is not. That doesn't look good. Yeah, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look authentic. Let's look at this bag. Okay, so to me, and obviously I know Oakley's very well. This is very wrong. These tiny, thin little. 
little shoelace things and you always have with Oakley this more durable bag. Everything about that bag looks better. They tried to hide it with this HDO. The tag. I don't even know what this says. O K E H G D F I I N P I. It's I like, think it says high definition optics. No, it doesn't. They tried. They, they tried. tried. Maybe they got the spelling wrong. They, they Maybe. didn't really know what's going on there. But you yeah. can see on the real bag, slightly smaller tag there. Big tag here. It looks like they also tried to rip off this where it says Plutonite with some letters capitalized, others not. Lense, L-E-N-S-E. Again, <laughs> sp spelling's off. Should only be <laughs> cleaned with the provided sunglass bag made in China. Oklev, Oklev, comma, Inc, USA. That's... See what's inside. Real interesting. Okay, so they were trying to. So, so they were no, trying no to go plastic. for. No plastic with yours. I have a little plastic sheath yep. on my temple just to protect the temple from rubbing on the lens. Okay. Fiber, 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 fiber cleaning cloth uh, is not. Doesn't feel very quality. It's yep. it's not the worst thing I've ever seen in the world, but. It's uh, it's not Oakley quality by any means. It looks like they're trying to rip off the the Shane the Sean, Sean White Shane Shane, Shane White. Woot <laughs> the Shane. This is the Shane Woot version. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they definitely did. They took the the model number, mm -hmm. the nine two four four. So that matches, but it's a very actually different... this this one doesn't match. So this says O O nine one O two dash F one five five. So that yeah. that SKU number product number, whatever it is, it relates to this specific model. Okay. Again, yours would probably be different. Does it have the 9102 out front? No. No 9102, because that would be the identifier for the Holbrook, but different. Nope. You can always search by that too. If you Google search it, it should bring up this specific frame and colorway right. on Google, a unique identifier. But some companies have gotten so good that they're actually pulling those from the specific frames and using those specific numbers. So another thing I noticed that this came with is a, a funny little, with a lot of uh, not English writing on it. I have no idea what it is, but it's uh, it says test. Wear glasses to see the beautiful pattern. Ooh. Okay. Check it out. And so it looks like it's like it's a it's a polarization axis checker. So I don't know if these are polarized. Oh, right. they are. Look at that. Okay. Uh, one el one other thing to note is they don't pretend that these are prism, which we looked at the other ones, and they do pretend that they're prism. They have prism written on them, uh, but this does not have the uh, polarized noted on it anywhere either. Interesting. Yeah. These Whereas, ones do say Prism P. It's etched into the lens there. Yep. Uh, some obvious just quality issues. It doesn't feel very good. It doesn't look very good. It's obviously a cheap plastic, the kind of plastic you'd expect to get at like a kiosk sunglass mm -hmm. spot uh, where you obviously don't get that with the, the real thing. Uh, you get weird lines. It looks like you can see from their mold that you don't see, it's a lot more of a streamlined look in the in the actual real Oakley. I think the other thing to point out is O-Matter is a pre-dyed material, meaning if you were to snap the temples in half, uh, it would color. be the same color. All and the way through. there you can see, you can check around the hinge points. It, if it's a different color, uh, maybe a, a little lighter around the hinge points, yep. then another indication there. And yeah, anywhere that there's wear or a, a something that you move a lot, then the, the paint or whatever they're using will start to rub off. These posts as well are a little, those stick ones, out a little farther. Those ones stick out further than these. Yeah, than this one, than the than the original. The O, looks a, it looks a little different. It's kind of a little more bulbous. If you can yeah, get it's in raised on up that. more. On the, the authentic, yeah, on the original. Okay, so let's move on. These are these are pretty yeah. obviously. Uh, one other thing I noticed is I did actually put these on and some of the other fake ones, um, and there is there is a notable difference in optical clarity and quality. They these just they really do. They feel fuzzy, and then I put on the real deal, and it just even though I need glasses, I can't see without my glasses on very well, but I can still tell a big difference in in optical quality before. 
uh, between the two. And so you definitely want to keep that in mind. One other thing I noticed, and they do have the, the fake register card. This says that, that it's going to ship to Oakley Inc. A P.O. box in Denver, Colorado. Interesting. That's not where Oakley is. Oakley is in California. And again, same with the case here. This doesn't have any tab. We were talking about the differences yeah. in the tab. You're always going to have that Oakley tab. Good quality, good, clearly written words and verbiage. And again, those those little lacy. Yep, thicker on this one. Things I can't, I can't get over. And this is just blatantly more cheaply made and i think you can see it kind of everywhere there there are, are very easy to to see pieces where i don't even know how to explain it the the manufacturing of it they have these weird lines that are etched in from the pattern or the however they make them that's very much not real or nice or look good the other thing to note with these that i noticed right off the bat were the nose pads those are definitely uh, have a lot more edges to them. These are rounded out more for a more comfortable fit. Yeah. Um, also, these are unobtainium. I'm not sure what kind of material they use there, but if your frame does have unobtainium on it, it should be kind of soft, tacky, rubberized grip. It shouldn't feel uh, hard or aggressive at all against Thank your you face. Sure. And again, yeah, just it just feels it feels poopy, but. It's uh, this, they're pretending that it's prism. They say prism on there, but they don't have the P. Even though it's polarized, they don't have the P on there. Blacking. These aren't a polarized lens, but one other thing to note is some stock lenses for fake frames will have the Oakley O etched into it. And that's simply never the case when you buy a non-RX lens from Oakley, an authentic one that is. Also a big difference in the thickness. So I think all Oakleys have a standard edge thickness and I shouldn't even pretend to quote what it is. I don't know what it is, but these are clearly much thinner. And the, the, the frog skins light is meant to be an interchangeable design and you can see that I can pop them both out, but there's a very different uh, little lens oh, yeah. hook, as we call it, on the fake versus the original. But the, the lens thickness is definitely very noticeably different. And that's that doesn't, that doesn't speak well for optical quality at all. Or durability. Or durability, clearly. And it was also much, much easier to get those lenses out than it is to get these. I can imagine these lenses on the cheap pair, fake pair, falling out pretty easily. Okay, let's talk about the turbine. Next up. No box. Oops. Oh. What happened there? <laughs> Lost your logo. <laughs> yeah, so the, that's pretty obvious. This case is super cheap, not well made. The logo just fell right off. You can even tell that it was just kind of glued in here. If you can see it from this, it's not good. Another little lens cloth with the sort of fake Oakley, Oakley logo there. At least they didn't say Oakley eyewear that time. It's true. Uh, and this, they, they do, and with all of these, they do get the general shape right. They, they get the overall aesthetic. Uh, you know, they, they copied it for sure. Uh, but you can tell with this one, it's a lot more blatant. The logo is very different. You have a squared logo versus the rounded logo that is on the authentic turbine. Uh, you don't have any wording on the, the, this is rubber, the rubbery bits, and this feels just awful. Try to do some sort of octopus grip or something there. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but this says Oakley octopus <laughs> written right there. That's what it looks <laughs> like, right? Yeah, and this is very clearly not, not good. Another thing that you, you would know if you, uh, if you knew the, the, the model well, this has no unobtainium on the nose. Right, and this does, so no again, the nose. if there's meant to be grip there, look for it. So you can definitely contrast it with, you know, photos. If you don't have a real pair, you can look at photos of the Oakleys online or wherever and, and see what this is a really good, uh, a really good example of that wear that you see, that these are obviously painted and on the inside it's just rubbing off. And they don't feel good. Clean feel good 
And so just be careful when you're looking at super cheap Oakleys or any you know good quality brand that you seem to find at a killer deal because not only are you repping a fake, a fake frame, a Oakley or whatever the brand is, but you also have no idea what you're putting in front of your eyes. Just Very good point. The quality of lenses, it matters. You know, you're you're wearing them to protect your eyes. These guys aren't polarized, which makes sense that you didn't get the chest wear glasses to see the beautiful pattern. Just be careful out there. Oh, look, look at that. What just happened? Uh -oh. We're breaking frames <laughs> over here. It's okay because they're fake. It's okay. No one's gonna be mad at Can't me. Can't do that with these. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for sticking. <laughs> With us. This is a fun. This is a fun little experiment. I yeah, wow. Was. I'm impressed with how awful these are. <laughs> Hopefully, this is interesting to you. Give us a thumbs up. If so, comment down below. We will get back to you. Call us. We'll help you get some real Oakleys, even in prescription. We love doing that for you. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.